uh, Teacher Rapper Hero 2 launch day, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, I've been on the road for about a week, so I have to catch up. Stuff to catch up. Alright, posters, CDs, all that stuff. Make sure I get them out. Stay caught up. Awesome. And I was on. I got something in my mouth, so I gotta send her this. I'll just show you how it works. She wanted a t shirt. She didn't say what she wanted specifically, but. Betty Boot. Moms remember Betty Boot, I suppose. So, got that from Universal. Put us in like that. Keep going. Well, here we are. All done. Got my Walmart style receipt ready. A couple of custom forms, but yeah. We've been all over the world today. We just took a, took a trip around the world. Um, not bad though. For the first day. We'll be back to do it all again tomorrow. Man, the pressure is mounting. I got number one, Teacher Rapper Hero 2 new mixtape just launched. So I gotta stay on top of the promo. I gotta stay on top of shipping CDs out. Gotta get the pre-orders right as well as current orders so i'm scrambling on that tip second kickstarter less than a week from ending on our uk trip of course i gotta promote that i gotta get people to donate i just have to get them involved so i'm working i'm working i'm getting that done next we have a writers guild show coming up we have not just any show though but we're opening for the great farrell much farrell much one of the illest mcs ever and probably my favorite bar for bar, pound for pound rapper. And he's an amazing, 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 amazing dude. So we have to get right and not only, you know, do right on that show, but we have to kill it. So we got to rehearse. And unfortunately, all three of those things, who has to take the, the head or charge lead on that is me. So I have to get out there and try to promote and round up the troops and make sure that we get every one of those things right so it's getting to be a little much for me it really is luckily though hanging out with the guild is cool because we all cool cats we always on the same page and they make me laugh the show uh -huh. so the dude was like it's rhyme and reason with matlocks and row knowledge <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge, which was one fucking word. Road so knowledge. When you know me, like you, you can get like uh, listen um, to your own shit. Way, my shit was funny though. <laughs> 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 oh god! Yo, I, I never made it this far. Then his hair is falling out. Hair is falling out. I never made it this far. Goddamn it! No. That separates the man from the boys right there. Damn. Oh, what up, nigga? Your thoughts? I've never said somebody meant Jesus. Somebody needed Jesus and meant that shit. But <laughs> I firmly, I firmly agree yeah, with you on that one. I think these kids, yeah, need, like yo, know, we used to do some yo. dumb shit when we were kids. But like, I am like, wow. That's the future. Yo, he's of America. From the that is that's the, the future, future of America, America, yo. That is. That's I am not repopulating, man. He's got a ball in his mouth. <laughs> He's got a ball. And it won't come out. It's like he loves the ball in his mouth because it just won't come out. Anyway, today has been like super frustrating. So I think I'm learning a huge lesson, man. I just need to really kind of slow down with what I'm doing. And I also think I need to hire somebody else to do some of this stuff because I can't. I don't know. It's frustrating, man. I really can't. I can't do everything. I can't. So, and this is something that my mom tells me too. It's like Spider Man when um, Aunt May says, you know, you can't do everything. You're not Superman. And it's true. We're not super people. We need help. We need people. You know, we need um, resources. You know, we often need somebody else. So, I don't know where or when this is going to go in the grand scheme of life after lesson plans might be beginning and I might even cut it and not use it but I don't know I feel like today I've learned a really big lesson that I, I need to be able to delegate responsibility without 
without having to feel like I have to take over. I don't have to. I'm not a teacher anymore. I'm not the head of the classroom. I don't have to do that. So, um, so if you do know me and you work with me, uh, don't be afraid to, to offer some suggestions and take charge. I feel like I feel like I've been doing that my whole career, you know. And and finally, I feel like I'm getting a little burnt out. Like I am just tired of being in charge. Like tired of it, you know. I don't want to be the. Uh, well, I never liked that saying. There's too many Indians and not enough chiefs because. Indians prefer to be called Native Americans. So, for now, I'd rather be a soldier than to be the, the sergeant uh, right now because I feel like I want to fall in line and, and get it done without having too many expectations of me. I don't know, that sounds like some slacker talk. But seriously though, I feel like it's time for me to, as a person, you know, kind of grow a set and be able to tell people, no, but at the same time, yeah, I can do that. But no, I don't want to do it in that capacity. So I always think back to what Rock Dollar told me, man, about just being being able to say yes to everybody and be able to do everything. Like, nobody likes a yes, a yes man around them. Yeah. Like, like, you know, when you hustling, you got to be, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can do that too. Yeah, I can do that. So and, yeah. you know. eventually, I feel like if you pull that rubber band long enough, man, it's going to snap. When it snaps, it comes 